In this how-to lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up a vinyl cutter. Now, there are some advanced concepts with vinyl cutting and setting up a cutter, but in this lesson I'm just going to focus on the simple uh, setup tasks. So we need to click on Setup Wizard, which we can access from the Help menu or the Launch module. So once the Setup Wizard comes up, we need to tell it we're looking for vinyl cutting, so we click on this link here, and then we click on this link here. The next thing we need to do is select our make and model, as you can see from this drop-down set here. Now, a lot of uh, manufacturers will call their particular make and model, um, say for example, creation, but they'll also a creation will also be known as a P-cut. So you need to be aware that your make and model may come up as a brand name rather than just the make itself. And I'll give you an example of that. If I go down to P-cut here, you'll see that um, uh, the P-cut range also has uh, the CS630 that I'm trying to set up at the moment. So just be aware of the fact that your brand may be the make uh, and you need to be aware of that. Now the next thing is the width of the uh, cutter. This will be set by default by the wizard, however this is the maximum cuttable width so you might work with a different vinyl size so you can change that. If your make and model isn't in this set here, in this list here, please let us know about it and uh, we'll get on to doing a driver for you. So once we've done that we go to the next step and uh, we now need to set the port. Now ports are very important. If you do not select the correct port the cutter will never work. Uh, there's a lot of help for setting up ports and identifying which port you're using. Uh, as you can see there's a very long list and you may not know. Some ports will require uh, some advanced settings and device manager to be set and if you're really unsure and you don't know what port you've got there's this uh, link here help find my port and that's very uh, helpful with lots of help files and uh, ways to identify what port you've got. I'll come back to that in a little while. Also if you do have a Chinese cutter uh, they mainly have most of the settings that need to be set, so there's a lesson on that that's specific for Chinese vinyl cutters which you can click on there. Once we've established our port, the next thing is to go to the next step. So we come down here, click on next step, and that'll bring up this next window here, and we need to set the emulation. This will be set by the wizard by default, but sometimes the cutter has been changed, so you can change the emulation if you like, and you just do that there. So once we've set our emulation, we go down to test cut, as so. Now this is critical. You need to load some media into your cutter, you need to make sure the pinch rollers are down, and you also need to make sure the machine is initialized. If you don't do this, if the machine isn't in ready mode, it will, won't cut anything. It'll just sit there. So it's very important that you've got the correct port and that you've uh, initialized the cutter, you've put it in ready mode. Once you've done that, you can send a test cut. So we click send test cut, and the wizard will want to confirm this. If we click yes, it will go ahead and start cutting the, uh, the test cut. Now if it starts cutting the test cut that's terrific um, and you can go to test cut is successful that's fine. If it's failed you can go back. You can click test cut failed and start again so you might need to reinitialize the cutter, double check the port. But if it is successful click here then we have to install the driver itself. So you simply click on that link there the wizard will go off and install the driver for you and it will then say it's finished. Now I can show you that in the vinyl spooler we just close out of the wizard here, we come to the vinyl spooler, we go to the settings tab here and we'll see our cutter that's been installed which was that P-Cut CS630. So we can click on that and we can see what port it was set to and we can change its settings. These cutters have all sorts of settings, um, you know as I said you can change the width, the emulation, you can turn auto marks on if it's an arms cutter, you can turn the laser uh, cutter on or the laser pointer on if you need to, blade compensation, overcut, all these sorts of things are set in this module here. You change them and apply and they'll immediately apply to the cutter. The other thing too is Chinese cutters, a lot of them now use what we call a direct com port. Now this is covered in um, the more advanced lessons, uh, how to configure a com port. It's very straightforward, you select the com port number and uh, some few basic settings, but it bypasses going through Device Manager, so it's a very handy way of doing it. So we can close out of there, and I'll just show you back in the wizard very quickly where the help is for configuring your port. So just resize the wizard to suit the uh, recording size. We go to Vinyl Cutting, Install, check the drivers out. Now what we do is we go to Next Step, because it remembers the cutter we had, and we click Help Find My Port. Now, 
Here we can see the sorts of cables that are generally plugged into cutters. You've got USB, COM and LPT. These are by far the most common and you can then select whether you're doing USB to say um, or a COM port to a COM port or a USB to a COM port or an LPT port. Depending on what you've got you select on the, the collect radio buttons here. Uh, by far the most common is USB to USB. So I'll set that like so and I'll show you the help files that come up for that. This covers 90% of cutters. We talk about what Chinese cutters, uh, the issues with those and links to the direct video that you can watch about Chinese cutters. Then this uh, help file will go through to help you locate the port. So you've chosen your cables and it will give you a quick rundown of what you need to do and the sorts of steps you need to take. Then it will show you how to configure a COM port. This all looks very confusing but once you've done it you'll realize it's incredibly simple. It really isn't that difficult at all. There are some settings which are uh, absolutely critical though. Once they're set, you go back to here and it will be ready to go to the next stage. Um, now that you've identified your port, uh, you'll know your emulation. You can do a test cut. Make sure you get all that, the cutters initialized. Um, we'll just skip this test here. And, and, and then you can start over if it doesn't work or install the driver if it has worked. So that's generally how that, that part of it works. Uh, if you want to see the help topics, you can bring up, I'll just resize this to suit the video, you can bring up more advanced help topics under uh, cutting and plotting here. You just expand that out and you go down to cut a plotter setup here. This help file is very comprehensive, talks about all the different things that we've just discussed uh, and it will go through and show you and assist you setting up a cutter if worse comes to worse and you can't locate ports and things. Of course, uh, if you're really stuck, you can always get in touch with us, get in touch with tech support. We're more than uh, happy to help and uh, we'll assist you if we need to. And we can also log into your computer if we really need to. That's the end of this lesson.